In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Valentine's Day flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all these resources that I'll be using for this tutorial. You can download and practice. In case you do and want to reach out to me, you can send it to me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now, let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Right here in Photoshop, I'm going to make use of Photoshop 2023, but this should be able to work with anyone. First thing you do is you set up your canvas. For this case, you can use anyone. So control plus N, and then you are going to go to the prints over here. You can select, for instance, this particular A4. And if you are okay with that, you go ahead and you click on create. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add the background. So we go to the create new fill adjustment over here, and we can add a gradient to it. Click on it, and then you go to the gradient overlay. Now you're going to select your gradient. I've already set the gradient, so I'm going to scroll down and I'll select this gradient. Now, these are the colors that you are using if you want to use the same thing. This is a pure red and this is a dark shade of red. Okay, so you can use any one of them if you want to. Once you're done, you click on OK. Now, over here, we are going to make some changes to the style. So first of all, we're going to change the style to radial. And now this is fine over here. So we can go ahead and click OK. Next off, we're going to bring our external backgrounds in. So you go to File, this Embedded, and then you can bring your image over here. Now we are going to zoom this out. You press Ctrl T and then you can transform this to fit the entire canvas. So something like this will be fine you double click on that and then you can right click on the layer and then you choose rasterize layer from there you press ctrl shift and then U to desaturate it you are going to set the blend mode to overlay or any other blend mode that works for you so we choose overlay and then we are going to decrease the opacity to somewhere around 50 51 percent or 52 which is okay after us, let's make one more duplicate. It still becomes too high. So we are going to reduce the opacity some more to about 30, 31%. So this is the 52% and this is an additional 31%. And that's basically going to be our background. Very simple, nothing too complicated. So next off, you're going to bring in the logo. So we go to file again, place embedded, and then the logo has been done already here. So we're just going to bring it in, take it to the very top over here. And make sure that I press Ctrl A to make sure that it is centered. Once that is done, you can then start adding our test. For our first test, we are going to use a font called Duhit Regular. So I'll leave links to download all of these in the description as well. I've already copied the test, so I'm just going to paste it right over here. After us, I'll select my Move tool, I'll press Ctrl T, and I can open it up to make it a little bit bigger. I press Ctrl A, and then I can center it and reposition it somewhere around here. For this test, we're going to add a gradient overlay on it. So we right click on the gradient overlay, go to blending options, and then we can add gradient overlay. I've already set the gradient overlay as well. So scroll down to the very bottom over here, and then I'm going to select my gradient here. This is the first color, and the other one is obvious. It's white, a shade of white. So I'll click OK from here. We don't want it in this regard. You'd realize that if you start turning the angle, it is also going to turn around like that. So we want to make, we want to bring it somewhere around here. So we will change this to zero. And this is what we are looking for. Now we can go ahead and click OK. The next test we're going to add will be the band that is playing this. So for that, we are going to use the same do it regular so i'm going to paste that also we have already copied it so you press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered next up you're going to create a rectangle in between these two so first off let's go to view guides and set some new guides to guide us so i'm going to set 50 percent in the middle vertical centers so we click ok so that it sets it up over here for us we are then going to choose our rectangle tool and we'll create a very nice rectangle somewhere around here. You can push it to the right side a little bit, press Ctrl T and close it up slightly like that. We are going to make a duplicate of this rectangle by pressing Ctrl G 
drag it to the right side and leave it over there. It is already centered. But if you want to be more specific, you can hold control and select the two rectangles. Press control G, press control A, and then you can center it. Told you it's already centered. Now, the reason why we brought the guides in here is just to guide us and make sure that the spacing is working. So you can press control H to hide the guides and bring it back. So this one, we can close it up some more. This is fine. All right. So the first thing we are going to put on top of this one is going to be activities. For that, we're going to use a font called Poppins and we're going to use the semi boot. So you left click and I've already copied my test. So I'm going to copy paste it right over here. You press control T and then you can transform it very nicely and position it somewhere around here in the middle. I press control J and then you make a duplicate, drag it to this side and we are going to change this one to packages. And now we are all set. So the rest of the things will be the items and the activities and the items and the packages. So for the list of the items, you're going to use the medium over here, the same poppins, but this time medium. You left click and then you can paste your items. Ah, this is too big. So you press control T and you can transform it nicely like that. And then you can paste or you can put it on the left side like that. You press control J and drag it to this side. And you are going to replace that with the packages. So we can select all of this and paste our packages. We realize that this is a bit big as well. So you press control T and then you can transform it slightly so that you have it fit very nicely into the rectangles. Next up is going to be the date and the people performing. So we are going to create a rectangle. So we will select our rectangle and create a very nice rectangle here. You can make it as long as you want because at the end of the day, we are going to rotate it. Okay. Right on top of this one, we are going to select our test tool, hold shift so that we don't write straight into the rectangle and we can start typing in there. So we are going to paste the first one on Friday. So we are going to maintain the semi bold for this one. And for the color, we are going for something like this one here. So you click OK and we can even bring it. You can put enter here and bring your date. So 14th February 2025. So once you have this, press Ctrl T and transform it very neatly like that. Right underneath of that, we are going to create additional rectangle. So you select your rectangle too, and then you create one more rectangle like this. Let's close it up. So on top of this rectangle, we are going to add our gradients. Let's right click on the layer, go to the blending options, and then we can add our gradients. We are going to use the gradient that we used for the background. So we select this one and click OK. Right on top of that will be our time. So we are going to put the time 7 p.m. sharp right over here. Select it all and we are going to change the color to white. Press Ctrl T and we can transform it. We are done with this part. So you can select from the 7 p.m. to the date and you press G to group that. That means you can press Ctrl T to open it up and reposition it all at the same time. The next thing is going to be the location. Right on top of this, we are going to select our test again and we can paste our location there. We are going for this same color so we can select the color from here. Press Ctrl T and we can open it up a little bit bigger like that. Make sure that it is aligned with our date or better still, we can bring it down a little bit and we can borrow this rectangle over here. So Ctrl J to copy that and bring it over here. But we can as well make this centered so that it will make the whole design uniform. Okay, so we can bring that one here, select our rectangle and we can send it outside of the group. So that it doesn't belong to that group anymore okay so for this part we are going to put the dj so we duplicate this one Control j send it on top of the rectangle bring it down slightly and we can change the color to white and we are going to put the names of the djs over there so we are going to paste the names of the djs here press Control t and then we can transform it nicely like that for this location we are going to add the location icon to it so we go to file place embedded and then we can bring the location icon that i got from png wing in there as well so you can zoom in and just your location icon and then you can put it right beside the location. We can then hold alt and drag the FX on this one onto this icon and boom, we are done. 
So we can group all of these ones as well. So you we select from the PNG ring the icon until the location, press Ctrl G and then you group that and then you can position it somewhere around here. Now for the whole of, you remember this rectangle, right? And these two groups, that is the date and then the location. We want to tilt it a bit. So to do that, we need to make sure that it is in the same group with the rectangle. So we will select, let me name this one to location, album right. And this one is date. Now we can bring these two closer together a little bit like so. And now we can put all of them in one group, one big group. So we hold control to select the location, the date, and then this rectangle. That is the rectangle we have in, in here. And then we can press control G to group that. Afterwards, you're going to press control T. With this, you see that when the arrow is here, it's different. When you bring it here, it turns into kind of a rotation tool. So you can drag that. You can left click on that and drag and slant it a little bit like this. You can then open it up and then you can reposition like this. Afterwards, right underneath of this, we're going to put the sponsors. So we select our test tool and we will write here sponsors. You press Ctrl T and then you can open it up like that. And then you can go and bring in your sponsors. So the logos has already been arranged. So you go to file, place embedded, and then you can bring in your sponsored or your, your sponsored companies and their logos. Okay. If you want to list them too, that is entirely fine. But then you just make sure that this is aligned to it. Very simple like that. We make one more duplicate, send it to the right side over here. And we will say for reservations, you can call this particular number. So you can position that one also over here, press Ctrl T and you can transform it slightly like that. Now let's spice it up with some elements and we're going to start from this part. It's supposed to read hat and lab. So hat, you're going to put an element over here and put the end inside of that one. For that, you're going to use a very nice, beautiful font that I recently discovered. So let's go back to the hat and love or the hat love for the, for the meantime. Select our test tool, you left click, and you're going to change this font to font called Hue. I don't know if it's Hug or Hue. Now you realize that once you bring a lorem, once you type L, it is going to give you this beautiful, beautiful love sign. I'm going to clear the first few ones, leaving this particular love icon over here or love sign. And then we are going to position it somewhere around here. We we'll right click on it, go to rasterize type and we can zoom in and clear this part off. Okay. So we select your polygonal also to make sure that you left click and then you can cut this part off, go around it and then you hit on delete. Once you're done, you go to the heart and love and the effects on it. I'm going to hold alt and drag it onto the L so that you have this inside of that one. You're going to put end in there. So you left click and you're going to change this back to poppins medium or let's say semi bold and type in the end. Okay. So you press control T transform it and it will be right there. Now let's open this up a little bit. So let's make this around six zero control T and you're good. Let's add some two more effects that is like two more love effects to this one. So right on top here, we are going to add this love sign effect onto it. So we go to file, then place embedded and we have this love icon that I got from PNG ring as well. You double click on that and then you can bring it in. Realize that it is underneath of these rectangles. So you can send it up using control and the square brackets. Okay. Until it's totally up. Or you can even bring it to the very top part so that it covers the entire document. Any part that, of course, it will cover. So you press Ctrl T and transform it. You right click and you rasterize. Now you go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur here. And then you are going to blur it to your liking. So you keep blurring it until you have something like this. I think this is too much. So something like this, it's fine. Now you can press Ctrl T transform it slightly and do realize that this color is quite different from what we are using so what you can do is you can press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and you can play with the hue to get a matching color for the background so you can push it to the right side over here i think somewhere around here 
and increase the saturation a little bit uh, dim the lights slightly and until we get something like this i think this or better still you can even make it some more reddish by increasing the saturation over here okay so once you get the one that you this might take you a couple of tries but you just need to get a matching color for the background and i think this works very well from there you make a duplicate and then you can bring it somewhere around here and then you can leave it right over here you press ctrl t and you can transform it slightly like that and with that ladies and gentlemen you create a very simple nice valentine flyer that can be used for packages for program for activities and for any other thing that you are doing this valentine's day for your business or for your clients i'll be getting value out of this video if you did subscribe to the channel it's so very much appreciated and don't forget that a link to download all the resources that i use in this video will be in the description as well and by the way this is an actual program that is coming on so if you're around Takradi and its environs, you can pass by Eclipse Bay if you are free on this Valentine's Day. Thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.